The International Space Station is an incredible achievement in space exploration. It's a huge space laboratory circling above the Earth. But how did this great marvel of engineering come into being, and why is it so important? The International Space Station, or ISS, is the most expensive human-made structure, which costs around $160 billion. The United States has been the primary contributor to it and invested approximately $100 billion, which shows its commitment to space exploration. Russia has also played a significant role and contributed around $15 billion. Other contributors include Canada, Japan, and various nations, each providing financial and technological support. This collaborative effort highlights the importance of international cooperation in advancing space exploration. The International Space Station, or ISS, serves as a platform for long-term exploration of space while delivering many benefits to humans on Earth. It has six cutting-edge laboratories and stands as the most advanced research center ever built in space. It has surpassed previous stations by fourfold in size and capability. One of the key purposes of ISS research is to accelerate medical, technological, and scientific developments. Studies done in microgravity and hypergravity circumstances provide essential insights into their effects on human physiology, which shows the complexities of how the human body works. This study includes the growth of protein crystals in space, which holds the potential for the creation of new medicines for illnesses that have no cure. Furthermore, the labs on the ISS support creating scientific programs aimed at improving our understanding of the Earth's environment and the larger cosmos. Furthermore, the ISS serves as a doorway to new horizons in human space exploration, acting as a test bed for investigating the long-term effects of the weightlessness of human body and determining the feasibility of technology required for future flights of locations such as Mars and beyond. In this capacity, the station contributes significantly to our understanding of fluid dynamics, combustion, life support systems, and the radiation environment, all of which are critical components of guaranteeing the safety and success of future missions beyond Earth's orbit. The International Space Station, or ISS, stands out as a unique construction project due to its unique assembly process. Unlike buildings and structures on Earth, which are typically built on the ground and then erected into their final form, the ISS was constructed in space, piece by piece. This approach, known as modular construction, involved launching individual components of the ISS into space, and assembly assembling them in orbit around the Earth. Each component, such as modules, trusses, and solar panels, was designed to fit together like building blocks, allowing for flexibility in design and construction. The modular approach allowed for redundancy and flexibility in case of component failures or the need for repairs and upgrades. If a particular module or component malfunctioned, it could be replaced or repaired without compromising the entire structure. Habitat modules serve as living quarters, providing astronauts with essential amenities such as sleeping quarters hygiene facilities, dining areas, and exercise equipment to support their physical and psychological well-being during their extended stays in space. These modules are designed to optimize space utilization while ensuring comfort and safety. In addition to habitat and modules, the ISS houses state-of-the-art laboratories where scientific research is conducted in a microgravity environment. Equipped with specialized equipment and instrumentation, these laboratory modules facilitate experiments in fields such as biology, physics, and material science, and space technology. Scientists utilize these facilities to study phenomena that cannot be observed or replicated on Earth, contributing to advancements in scientific knowledge and technological innovation. Solar panels play a critical role in powering the ISS, capturing sunlight and converting it into electricity to supply the station's systems, equipment, and experiments with energy. Mounted on trusses attached to the station's main structure, these solar panels are designed to track the sun's movement to maximize energy generation efficiency. Docking ports are strategically positioned on the ISS to accommodate crewed and uncrewed spacecraft, enabling the delivery of supplies, equipment, and crew members, as well as facilitating crew transfers and vehicle departures. Trusses and structural components provide the framework and support structure for the ISS, ensuring its stability and integrity in the harsh environment of space. These components distribute loads and forces generated during launch, docking, and operation, contributing to the station's structural integrity and longevity. Additionally, life support systems are integrated into the ISS to maintain a habitable environment for the crew, including air revitalization, water recycling, and waste management systems, which ensure the supply of breathable air, clean water, and proper waste disposal on board the station. During the assembly of the International Space Station, astronauts conducted spacewalks, also known as extravehicular activities or EVAs, to connect various modules. Venturing outside the station in their spacesuits, astronauts utilize specialized tools and equipment to carry out intricate tasks in the vacuum.
vacuum of space. These tasks included connecting structural components, securing modules in place, and routing cables to establish electrical and communication connections between modules. A key tool in this assembly process was the Canada Arm 2, a robotic arm developed by the Canadian Space Agency, or CSA. The Canada Arm 2 played a crucial role in assisting astronauts during spacewalks by providing support and maneuverability for heavy payloads and large components. Operated remotely by astronauts inside the ISS or on the ground to control teams on Earth, the Canada Arm 2 offered precision and versatility in positioning modules and facilitating their attachment to the station structure. The Canada Arm 2's ability to grasp, manipulate, and transport payloads with precision allowed astronauts to work more efficiently and safely during spacewalks. By working in tandem with the Canada Arm 2, astronauts could focus on critical tasks while the robotic arm handled the intricate maneuvers required for assembly operations. The expansion of the International Space Station occurred gradually over multiple missions, spanning decades, as new modules were added to the station to enhance its capabilities and living space. The incremental growth was achieved through a meticulous piece-by-piece -piece approach, requiring careful planning, coordination, and execution of over 40 missions. The process of adding new modules to the ISS involved complex logistics and engineering challenges, as each component had to be launched into space, maneuvered into position, and securely attached to the station's framework. Astronauts conducted spacewalks and utilized robotic arms to assist in the installation and assembly of these modules, ensuring that they were properly integrated and functional. As new modules were added, the ISS evolved into a larger, more capable research facility, enabling a wider range of scientific experiments and activities to be conducted in orbit. The gradual growth of the station reflected the collaborative efforts of multiple space agencies and international partners, working together to achieve common goals in space exploration and scientific research. The ISS is currently home to a crew of seven astronauts and cosmonauts, representing a diverse mix of nationalities united in an international partnership under Expedition 71. Their duties encompass a wide array of tasks, including conducting groundbreaking research, maintaining station systems, and engaging in outreach programs to inspire the next generation of space explorers. The research conducted aboard the ISS covers a broad spectrum of scientific disciplines. Biologists study how plants grow in microgravity, while physicists investigate new materials and fluid dynamics. Medical researchers focus on understanding the effects of spaceflight on the human body and developing strategies to mitigate potential health risks. Each day on the ISS is a carefully orchestrated blend of scientific experiments, station upkeep, and physical exercise to combat the psychological effects of prolonged exposure to microgravity. Logistics and resupply missions are vital to the ongoing operations of the ISS. Cargo spacecraft such as SpaceX's Dragon Capsule and Northrop Grumman's Cygnus regularly deliver supplies, food, and new research equipment to the station. These missions ensure that the crew has everything they need to sustain themselves and continue their scientific endeavors in orbit. Looking ahead, the ISS remains a dynamic and evolving platform for space exploration. Plans for future expansion include the addition of new modules such as the Axiom Commercial Space Station, currently in development. These enhancements promise to increase the station's research capacity and may pave the way for commercial ventures in space. So beyond its status as the most expensive structure ever built, the ISS embodies the spirit of international collaboration, scientific discovery, and the boundless curiosity of humanity. We hope you enjoyed learning about the ISS. Subscribe for more fascinating insights about the world and beyond.